Harry, a disappointing way to lose at Chesterfield tonight. How do you react to how the match unfolded? Well, we, we didn't start bright. <laughs> I have to admit, we, uh, we, we let two silly goals in, really. I mean, one set piece and another penalty. Um, but we showed great character coming back into the game. And I, and I felt from that moment on, we kind of dominated the first half. Uh, we were looking exciting. Um, we, were, we were passing, we were moving, we were creating spaces, we were creating opportunities. And we got, I think we got a fair enough uh, opportunity to get back in at two war. Um, so I'm, I, I was pleased at half time. I mean, going 2-0 down so early on must have affected everything that you said to the players uh, before the match. Uh, well, of course it does. Um, but again, it, it was just um, unfortunate errors. Uh, but we, we can't allow for that now. Um, but I, I, look, I can't, I can't complain. I mean, my players did well in, in the way that they worked hard. They worked uh, great chances. I mean, look, fantastic. Sam Granville scored his first goal you know, at 17 years old, which is fantastic. So for me, like I said, I can't complain about my players. They worked hard tonight. I mean, how did our two goals just before the break affect what, what you said to them at half-time? Um, not really. I mean, we, we, we worked ourselves back into the game. Uh, again, we for 10 minutes, Chesterfield had it. They had the two goals, and I think they had another clear, clear, clear chance. And then we kind of settled into the game. We worked well. We... We had to change a few things around on the on the pitch at the half uh, during the half, but when we worked certain areas, we looked great. Serhat was coming in off the left, having some shots. Uh, we were getting some opportunities. Keynes had a couple of shots. We were getting crosses into the box, so we were looking good. I mean, ha having worked so hard, it must be disappointing to, to concede the, the goals in the manner that we did. Obviously, two penalties and a deflected free kick. Again, there's, you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but that's the game. We, we, we also scored two, two goals away at Chesterfield who expect to be up there at the top of the season. There are plenty of positives to still take from tonight. For my team, there's plenty of positives. Again, we, we're working. Again, it's, it's still getting there. Uh, we're finding our feet. But again, we've just got to stop some little individual errors. And have you got a message for the travelling supporters who, ma who made the journey up today? Oh, fantastic. I mean, it's just a, a, a shame that uh, we didn't get the three points for them. You know, uh, it's fantastic to see him travelling all the way up here and uh, hopefully we can uh, turn it around against Bromley on uh, Saturday. On to Bromley, what are we expecting from that one on Saturday? Look, we're just going to go out there and play our natural game. Uh, again, if we can eliminate certain, uh, certain individual errors, uh, we should be fine.